Hi everybody and welcome to Virtual Sunday School. Now, let me ask you a question. When you think of the term feast, what do you think of? I mean, I'm sure that you don't think of just sitting around with your family, having a small meal. I mean, are you thinking like of a large buffet where you go and you've got all kinds of food? Or do you think about like pizzas being delivered to your home, 15, 20 pizzas, so all you and your friends are sitting around and having this huge feast of pizzas. Or maybe you think of something like in the medieval times, like King Arthur, where the king has all of his people around him and he's serving just tons and tons of food. He's got lamb and he's got turkey legs as big as your head and he's got roast pig and ale and all of these glorious things. Is that what you think of when you think of a feast? Now, when I think of kings and a feast, where my mind goes is right there. Do you know what that is? That's an icon of the Last Supper with Jesus. And we've been saying all along that Jesus is our king and the disciples are his knights. And so what we have here is not just a feast, but Jesus has something very important to say to his disciples. So I know that you've heard at least at some point in your life the term the Last Supper. And probably the question that popped into your mind, which is the same question that popped into my mind, is what did they eat at the Last Supper? Now, unfortunately, the Bible doesn't tell us exactly what they ate, but it does tell us why they ate that meal and why it was so important. Now, Jesus had something very important to tell his disciples. Now, Think about it. If you're going to tell somebody that you're the son of God, then you want to make sure that they're sitting down and that you're offering them up a good meal, right? And so this is now where Jesus is. He's going to tell his disciples that he truly is the son of God and that he is the king. Now, if you remember back to a previous video that we did about the transfiguration, remember when Jesus took three of his disciples and he took them up onto the Mount Tabor and before their eyes, he was bathed in this supernatural light. And the disciples were so amazed that they didn't even know what to do. Now, can you imagine now Jesus having to tell the rest of his disciples this story? So he uses the Last Supper as a way that he can tell now all of his disciples that he is the Son of God. But also now he's going to do something else. It's called the Last Supper for a reason. And that's because in addition to telling the disciples that he is God, he is also going to make a bold and dramatic statement about the future. Jesus Christ is God, and so he's able to predict the future. So this was not just about Jesus telling them something simple like, here's what the next lottery winning is going to be, although that might have been helpful, or how many fish they're going to catch next week. That's a lot of fish. And this prediction that Jesus is making is not about something that's going to happen next year or in a hundred years or the end of the world. No, this prediction is about what is going to happen tomorrow and in this week. So you can imagine as Jesus is telling them these things, they're probably halfway through their meal. Uh, really? Tomorrow? So what Jesus was telling them was that literally tomorrow and in the coming week, the course of humanity would be changed forever. This is now the ultimate game changer. Now the disciples didn't realize that the Last Supper itself was also a game changer. Think about what you do every Sunday. We all gather together here in church for a meal. But that meal is what? It is the same thing as what happened at the Last Supper, the bread and the wine. And we call that Holy Communion. 
So since the time of the disciples, the game changer is that this is something that we have done every single week for over 2,000 years and we still do today. And speaking of Last Supper, I'm getting ready to enjoy my Last Supper. Mm. No fish. Hey, 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 hey. So speaking of betrayal, tune in next week for that part.